Venus and Furs, written by Austrian author Leopold von sacker in 1870, is a novella that explores themes of male sexual desire for female domination and its connection to gender and class in society. The novella draws from sacker personal experiences with bondage and domination, involving his mistress, Baroness Fanny Pister. It has had a significant impact on popular culture and introduced the concept of sadomasochism to Western culture, though it has faced questions about its literary value. The novella opens with a dream sequence in which an unnamed narrator, presumably an urban upper-class man in Central Europe, converses with Venus, the Roman goddess of love, discussing desire and the perceived cruelty and unfaithfulness of women. The dream is interrupted by a reminder of the narrator's tea appointment with his friend Severin von Kuziemski, during which he encounters a painting of Venus that reminds him of his dream. Severin, described as sober but occasionally angry, reveals his belief that if a woman is not subservient to a man, then he must be subservient to her. He shares a manuscript titled Confessions of a Supersensual Man, which comprises most of the novella. The manuscript centers around a poet named Severin, who falls in love with a fellow guest named Wanda von Dunaju at a health resort in the Carpathian Mountains. Severin declares his love, and Wanda reciprocates, but warns him that she will eventually become despotic in their relationship. Embracing the idea, Severin proposes that he becomes her slave, drawing parallels to Christian martyrs. He shares stories from his past, his desires, and his fascination with furs, all emphasizing his love for Wanda. After some hesitation, Wanda agrees, formalizing a contract giving her absolute control over Severin, who is renamed Gregor. They embark on a journey to Italy, stopping in Vienna for shopping and settling in Florence. Their master-slave dynamic becomes more defined and crystallized. Wanda alternates between doting on Severin and treating him with capricious cruelty. She forbids him from looking at her for a month and occasionally reverts to calling him Severin during moments of intimacy. At one point, Wanda falls in love with a powerful, masculine painter known as the Greek. Severin, increasingly disenchanted with their arrangement, attempts to escape, but Wanda hands him over to the Greek, who binds and beats him. This humiliation cures Severin of his desire for female domination, and Wanda leaves their villa, seemingly breaking the contract and freeing him from her tyranny. The framing narrative briefly returns, with the unnamed narrator and Severin discussing the manuscript. Severin's conclusion is that women can only be the slaves or despots of men in the current state of society. He believes this can change only when women have the same rights as men and are equals in education and work. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.